turned their back on me a thousand times. But I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take my own son and I'm going to kill that nigga on the altar of sacrifice, my own baby. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving our honor, praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rokakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone and will will. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and sincerity. I'm Lamar Ariyah from the Mississippi County, Lord willing, this be edifying lesson. Quick and to the point. And as you can see on that video clip, you got the uh, General Yohanna of the ISUPK, as well as two of his members. Don't really know one on Facebook, can't remember the name, but um, this is you no know, complete madness. This is blasphemy. How, you know, it's just no fear of the Lord, man, when it comes to these niggas. And to speak and say what he said and the, the, the names or the words he used regarding Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, you know, is, it's just, man, it's, it's, it's sad, man, how, how just wicked and low level minded these individuals are. The things they say sometimes, it's just like, Man, what is wrong with these people, man? I mean, it's not all the oxygen getting to your brain and you just blurt out and say just the most retarded, unacceptable shit, man. And then, you know, get mad or get, get all bent out of shape when brothers rebuke your behavior. You know, it's... These niggas are like really apostates, man. They, they, they don't, <clears throat> they don't have no, no morals. They don't have no rule over their conduct. They just, just, just do just mind boggling things, man. As if judgment is not going to come upon them for the, for, for what they're saying, what they're doing. You know, it's using the N word versus using the names of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, ML, and you know, just crazy, man. You know, when 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 Yahweh Shah had, you know, arrived to meet John the Baptist, you know, the Heavenly Father said, This is my son whom I'm well pleased. You know, and to say that the Lord, the Heavenly Father, would use that type of terminology coming to how he was going to sacrifice his only son, only the only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, was going to be a sacrifice. There's no way that's, that's, that's how the Lord was going to put that in his words, man. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's a lot of you, man. It's like 2 in the morning. I got this, you know, seeing the brother, the elder brother, uh, the preacher choir in Mississippi County has sent it to me. And I'm like, this is just crazy, man. But I'm going to go on and get the scriptures, man. And like I say, Lord willing, this is edifying. All right. Be going to the book of Matthew. Chapter 12, starting at verse 33. And you see the headliner says, Words reveal character. All right. Words reveal character. You know what? Well, let's get the definition of character before we bring out the scriptures. <clears throat> All right. We went to Google the meaning of character. It says, The mental and moral qualities distinctive 
to an individual. Mental and moral qualities, right? Them niggas had no morals and their quality is it's very their moral qualities are poor. Very poor. And it shows in the type of things they say. Okay. And again, the headliner words reveal character. And it shows by their whole clip the 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 poor character of this individual and the two sitting on each side of them on his left and right, they're just as bad because no one, you know, rebuked them, said nothing to them. They just sit on there, like my auntie say, used to say, like a knot on a log. They just sitting there. Yeah, so they're no better than him. And the one that's sitting to the, like they say, the right of them, if you're facing them, looking at your camera or your phone, whatever, he he's just as bad, man. He done did a lot of foolishness and everything too. But nevertheless, let's get in the scripture, man. Let me close this out. Words reveal character. Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty-three. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. And this man, being the head of this group. ISUPK has a lot of corrupt fruit, man, because they're following his teachings, you know, abiding by his leadership. And he goes off, goes left, and says the most retarded and, you know, crazy things, man. And his followers, his congregation, have known, have been known to do the same things, man. This is corrupt fruit that he's bringing forth, man. Oh, generation of vipers. How can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And <clears throat> when you stick to the script, man, when you stick to what's written, okay, and truly seek to do the will of Yahweh in truth and in sincerity, as our apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone, okay, you bring forth good things, good fruit, okay, followers who are obeying the law, statute, and commandments to the best of our ability, okay, to the best of our ability, because you can't keep the laws, all the laws, man, but you can put forth a spiritual effort to keep the ones you can, all right? Our apostles and elders bring forth good fruit, okay? Now, don't get, me, don't get it twisted. There still be wicked niggas amongst great millstones. But the Lord sifts them out. He always have. He always will. Because when it's over and done, only his elect will remain. Okay? As well as the one third of the men, women, and children that the Lord will have mercy upon. But all the wicked, you know, are going to be sifted out. And a hey, Lord willing, us brothers who are doing this work in all truth and sincerity, that the Lord may have mercy upon us and that we are part of his elect. Okay. But, you know, we're sticking to what our elders, okay, our apostles, elder bishops have taught us because they stick to the truth. They stick to the script. 100% truth, man, as it is written. You know, not wavering, not adding and taking away from the scriptures, not using the Lord's name in vain, not being blasphemy. <clears throat> blasphemous when, when it comes to the names as this man did that's not happening man okay and you're not gonna hear that type of wording if you will when we're speaking regarding Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah alright 
because we fear the Lord, man. And fear the Lord is beginning the wisdom. And see, and these, these men, they have no fear, okay? They have made a covenant with Esau, Edom. They've taken the bag, the 501c3 charter, okay? They have a muzzle. Certain things they can't speak on. And certain things they're going to have to say, okay? These are wolves in sheep's clothing, okay? Back in the scripture. An evil and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. And these are going to be the men who he's laid down this foundation for, who's following him, okay? Are going to, unless the Lord is dealing with them and remove them from this, you know, this congregation of the dead, because these niggas, you know, to be saying what they're saying, or well, this man is 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 dead to the truth, man. Okay. Um. <clears throat> and you know they just bringing forth, you know, evil things, wicked things. Okay. I mean, they've said you can, you need to take the jab. They've said that, you know, uh, John the Baptist was not a part of truth. They've said you can pop your woman in the anus. They've said you can have sex on the Sabbath. I mean, just madness, man. Just completely against everything the scriptures have said. Okay. Verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So all that ran he just said and all that ran he did using the Lord the, the Lord's name, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in a blasphemous term. You know, he's gonna have to answer for that. You know, so what he gonna say when the Lord asks him, you know, on this date, at this time, on this video, what what was up with that? Using our names in vain, calling us ends and MLs. What what was that about? He's going to have to give an account for that, you know. For by thy words, thou shalt be justified. He's not going to be acquitted. He's not going to be justified. He's not going to be pardoned. Unless he repents and asks the Lord for forgiveness and the Lord find mercy. Uh, to have, allow him, uh, if the Lord uh, uh, has mercy on him. It's his 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 behavior, his wording, what he said is not going to be justified. Okay, he's not going to be forgiven for that blasphemous terminology he used when it comes to the heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. Okay, and by thy word shalt thou be condemned. He's going to be condemned. All right, let's get um, let's see what that word condemned mean. And condemn to give judgment against one to pronounce guilty to condemn. So he's going to be found guilty unless he repent of blasphemy. You know, and that's one thing that the Lord would not forgive you for. Okay. All right, let's get this. We'll end it on this. Um, all right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 12. Let's just get to the point, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sins and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. All right. So let's go to blasphemy. <clears throat> blasphemy, slander, detraction, speech, speech injurious to another's good name, 
impious and re reproachful speech injurious to divine majesty. Okay. So let's see what blasphemy means in the Google the act of the act or offense of speaking sar sar sarcrisiously religiously salakia about the most high or sacred things profane talk okay and we see the similars profanity swearing curse cursing okay disrespect so let's see cursing what's that invoke or use curse against uh, disrespect, lack of respect, or courtesy, and that was a lack of respect using, you know, the N word, MF word, in description or pertaining to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? Arrogance, the lack of respect for people or things that are generally taken seriously. And we take Yahweh Bashimi Yahushai very, very, very seriously. Okay? And and apparently these guys don't. Okay. Now this this the this the this the top of the hour one right here. Use someone's name in the way that show lack of respect. Right? Let's see what that said again. Taking the Lord's name in vain. And it says again. Use someone's name in the way that shows a lack of respect. And that's what this man did. He used the name of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Used their names in a way that shows a lack of respect. Blasphemy, okay. So, <clears throat> hey, Lord willing, this was edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.